Would you believe that the first cosmetics were created from copper and lead ore by ancient Egyptians over 6,000 years ago? Yes, you heard it right. The fascinating journey of beauty products began in the heart of the Nile Valley, where both men and women used cosmetics for aesthetic and health reasons. They believed that makeup not only enhanced their appearance, but also offered protection against the harsh desert winds. They crafted intricate recipes for cosmetics. Coal, made from lead ore and other minerals, was used to line the eyes, serving both as a beauty enhancer and a deterrent to eye infections. Red ochre, a type of clay, was used to rouge cheeks and lips. Henna, a plant-based dye, was used to color hands and hair. So the next time you apply your eyeliner, remember you're partaking in a tradition that dates back thousands of years. From the banks of the Nile, let's journey through time to the creation of modern makeup. Like the first rays of a sunrise painting the world, the evolution of makeup has been a kaleidoscope of colors, textures and trends. Imagine a time before glossy counters filled with compacts and tubes. A time when makeup was an artistry crafted with natural pigments and oils. Fast forward to the Victorian era, when the first commercial lipstick made its debut. In the 1880s, women began to color their lips with lip salves made from beeswax, castor oil, and deer tallow. A far cry from the dazzling array of hues we find today. Let's jump ahead a few decades to the early 20th century, where we meet a man named Max Factor. A Polish immigrant and a visionary, Max Factor revolutionized the beauty industry by creating the first foundation. He called it Pancake, a product initially designed for movie stars that soon found its place in the makeup bags of everyday women. This invention marked a turning point, setting the stage for the foundation, pun intended, of modern makeup. Yet, the evolution didn't stop there. Makeup continued to evolve, and by the 1910s mascara entered the scene, all thanks to a brand we know and love, Maybelline. The brainchild of a chemist named T.L. Williams, the first mascara was a concoction of coal dust and petroleum jelly. His invention was inspired by his sister Mabel, who used a similar homemade mixture to darken her lashes. In its raw, primitive form, makeup was a testament to human ingenuity and the eternal quest for beauty. It was born out of necessity, yes, but also out of a desire to express oneself, to stand out, to feel beautiful. From lipstick to foundation to mascara, the staples of today's makeup bag were born out of innovation and necessity. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Fast forward to the 21st century, where makeup has evolved into an art form. A kaleidoscope of colors, textures and formulas now grace the shelves of beauty stores worldwide largely thanks to a handful of industry giants who dared to shake things up. Let's begin with Fenty Beauty. Launched by global icon Rihanna in 2017, Fenty Beauty disrupted the industry by releasing 40 foundation shades, a groundbreaking move that championed diversity and inclusivity. This Fenty effect forced other brands to expand their own shade ranges, ultimately pushing the industry towards a more representative future. Covergirl, a brand synonymous with accessible beauty, has also made notable strides. In 2016, they broke barriers by appointing James Charles as their first male ambassador, challenging the gender binary in the beauty world. Covergirl continues to redefine beauty norms, proving that makeup truly is for everyone. Sephora, MAC and Ulta have also made significant contributions. These retailers have become beauty havens, offering a vast array of products from both established and emerging brands. They've democratized beauty, making high-end makeup accessible to the masses, while also providing a platform for indie brands to shine. And then there's ELF. Known for its affordable, high-quality products, ELF has shown us you don't need to break the bank to look fabulous. They've also been a leader in cruelty-free beauty, refusing to test on animals, and proving that compassion and beauty can go hand in hand. These companies have not only redefined beauty, but also challenged societal norms and expectations. They've shown us that makeup isn't just about looking good, it's about feeling good, expressing yourself, and challenging the status quo. With every new product launch or inclusive campaign, they're painting a new picture of what beauty can be. And as we move forward, it's clear that the evolution of makeup is far from over. 
After all, in the world of beauty, the only constant is change. But makeup isn't just about looking good anymore, it's also about feeling good and doing good. The beauty industry has witnessed a significant shift in recent years. It's no longer just about enhancing our appearances, but also about nurturing our skin and our environment. The advent of the green revolution in beauty has ushered in a new era of plant-based and cruelty-free products. For years, consumers were blissfully unaware of the harmful ingredients lurking in their favorite beauty products. Synthetic chemicals, parabens, and animal-derived ingredients were the norm, but as awareness grew about the potential harm these ingredients could cause, a demand for healthier, safer alternatives began to rise. This shift didn't happen overnight. It was fueled by the growing understanding that what we put on our skin matters just as much as what we put in our bodies. The skin is our largest organ after all. It absorbs a significant portion of what we apply to it, directly affecting our overall health. As this awareness spread, consumers started demanding transparency. They wanted to know what was in their products and how they were made. This led to the rise of clean beauty, a movement focused on creating products free of harmful ingredients. The trend towards plant-based and cruelty-free products gained momentum. With beauty giants and indie brands alike jumping on the bandwagon, the beauty industry has also started to acknowledge its role in environmental sustainability. Plastic packaging, non-recyclable materials, and wasteful practices have long been the norm. But today, brands are making concerted efforts to reduce their environmental footprint. They're opting for recycled packaging, sourcing ingredients sustainably, and ensuring their manufacturing processes are as green as possible. This green revolution in beauty isn't just a trend, it's a necessary shift towards a more sustainable and ethical approach to beauty. It's about making choices that are good for us and good for our planet. As the beauty industry continues to evolve, it's clear that the focus is on creating products that are not only beautiful, but also kind to our skin and our planet. Let's not forget about skincare, a crucial aspect of beauty that has gained significant attention in recent years. Skincare is not a new concept, indeed, it dates back to ancient civilizations who used natural ingredients like olive oil and honey to nourish their skin. Fast forward to today, and skincare is an industry unto itself, boasting an array of products from cleansers to advanced serums and treatments. The rise of skincare underscores a shift in beauty philosophies, from covering up perceived flaws with makeup to nurturing the skin's health for a naturally radiant complexion. This increased focus on skin care is also a testament to our collective understanding of the skin as our body's largest organ and its role in our overall well-being. Skin care is more than a routine, it's a form of self-care, a celebration of natural beauty, and above all, an affirmation of our unique individuality. From ancient Egypt to the modern world, the journey of beauty products is a fascinating tale of innovation, evolution, and revolution. Please learn, grow, share, like, and subscribe.